near where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. And it talks about the same exact information that is in the secret, that, that, uh, that your thoughts are based on logic and the logic, and you can go through the, you, what, where you place your attention and your intention, and your intention has three basic patterns of what happens with your mind, your heart, and your body. And if you engage all these things together at one time, yeah, you're going to get exactly what your intention is. But what the creators of the secret don't understand is, is the instrument that the creation is being done through is the mind. It's the brain. And the brain is a polarized tool. You've got the left brain and the right brain. And then the left and right is the front lobes and the back lobes. And it keeps going through what I believe is 64 different divisions. Uh, the same 64 divisions of the 64 codons that are in the human DNA. And, uh, and, and so it is possible to bring to you what you want or what you intend through your intentions. But what you will also get is the exact equal and opposite force coming from behind you where you can't see. Our eyes see this way, but we can't see this way. And so you get what you want coming this way, and you're going to get exactly what you don't want coming from behind. And so, uh, and there is now a man named uh, Dr. James Hart out of California, one of the brain uh, experts in the world. He's considered the two, one of the two um, greatest brain experts on the planet ever to live. And he agrees with me that they've found scientifically that you can go in using the brain and you can create anything, but you always get this yeah, other thing, the opposite. Come, the opposite thing also. So what's going on in the world is you've got six and a half billion people in the world and most of them want peace. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're praying together, the, these huge circles of people praying for world peace, but they're never going to get world peace as long as they pray from the brain. They're, all, they're going to get a world that's half peace and half war. And it's just going to keep generating that half peace, half war, until uh, they learn to create in a different way. There is another way that the indigenous people tell us all over the world and that the ancient people, the ancient Tibetan Buddhists and the other ones talk about, that you can create which is creating from where the, where the original stars and planets were created, which is in the heart. If you leave the brain, throw it away, get out of there, and go down into the heart, you can do the same thing. You can create there. You can bring anything you want. You can change the world. But you won't get the opposite effect. 